So what I have here in my left hand is a piece of sandstone that's kind of weathered. It's got an interesting texture. What I have in my right hand is a piece of dinosaur bone, um, part of a long bone, a leg bone. And the way that you can tell one is just a normal rock and another is a fossil bone is partly the texture. You have a very gritty texture like sandpaper on the sandstone. On the bone it's also very gritty but you also have a very porous nature to the bone. You can see little air pockets everywhere. Another thing that you can tell is sometimes the surface color. If there's a very smooth surface you want to check it out. Uh, bone generally ends up uh, lightening in the sun because of UV weathering. So you will end up with a tan or a pinkish color a lot of times and then if you dig on it sometimes it goes to a chocolatey brown which can sometimes mimic the color of the rock very easily. But if you see it lying in the sun and it's this bleach color, that's uh, normally more, more common for bone than it is for rock. Um, generally when you're out here for a while, you tend to look for things that don't look like everything else and that's a good way to start looking for bone. When we find a site like this where there's a lot of bone littering the ground, we have to ask ourselves whether or not it's a place that we want to dig on. If the bones are in situ, when you say in situ it means are the bones where they were deposited and covered by the rock? And in this case it doesn't look like it. It looks like these bones have slid down the hill, maybe from that sandstone up top there, and they've ended up resting here on the ground. That's not a good indication that there's more there. When this site was found, the first thing that we looked for were bones that appeared to be going back into the hill. And we also looked further up the hill to see if we could find more bones coming out of where we thought the layer was that was producing the bones. We could not find any bones there. Whereas, in the quarry behind me, you can see people excavating. And one of the first things that we did when we found that spot was we saw a bone weathering out, but a couple pieces appeared to be going back into the hill. So we cleaned off those pieces and they continued to go back. And they were also not very weathered, uh, the part that we excavated, which in indicated that it was uh, in situ where it was deposited and had not been moved by sliding down the hill or by weathering processes. So that is why we decided to dig there and it has actually yielded a fairly complete uh, young triceratops.